In this lecture, I want to talk about programming tables. Tables are really common in web design. In fact, they're so common that before CSS became standardized, the best way to lay out your, ta your entire page was using tables. Um, at this point, tables are supposed to be only used for tabular data. And so I have an example of some tabular data right here. This is not pretty. We will be using CSS to format this exact table in an upcoming lesson. But let's get the table created first. So let's take a quick look at the code. This is what's created. And over here we have the code for it. Of course we have our doc type HTML. Coding this in HTML5. Language equals English. And in our head area I just have a title of tables. Mine standard content type. You've seen this all before. In the body the first thing you have to do when creating a table is use your table tag to declare the table. I'm having a border of zero, which is why you don't see any bars in this table, and I've set the table width to 400 pixels. If you don't set a width, it'll just float around until it allows everything to display. Generally, I like to set a width. I have a caption under the table for web design certificate, and you can see that that appears right here. Now my first row, and this is common in tables, is a little different than the rest of them because my first row contains headings for the table. So TR stands for table row, TH stands for table heading, so I have one row with four columns and in the four columns I have area, number, name, credits. So these are my four table headings and without any special formatting or CSS simply by making it a table heading it becomes bold and a little yeah it's not I think it's the same size font but it's bold so it stands out and then you close the table row the next table row has TD table definition that's a cell and you can see cell for CIS, cell for, cell for 110, cell for computer literacy and we simply repeat that pattern I apparently forgot to delete a class in here, um, Digital 2D Design, but since I deleted the CSS for it, it, the class doesn't apply. But it's nice to see that if you put in a class that doesn't exist, it just ignores it. We will see more of this with the class when I format this using cascading style sheets to make the table a lot more attractive and easier to read. HTML will give you your basic table structure and the reason that we separate the formatting from the table structure is so that browsers for the blind it's much easier for them to read it plus it's becoming very common to detect if your page is being viewed by a mobile phone a tablet a computer and adjusting or having different style sheets depending on what sort of device is accessing your work so we've got a little bit more to do with HTML and then we'll start making it a lot more attractive by applying cascading style sheets. So you're going to see this table again in a much prettier format.